Bonjour, uh, my name is David Leleu. I'm a professor of hematology, uh, expert in myeloma, on multiple myeloma in Poitiers, uh, a city in France, Europe. And I've been uh, very pleased to uh, co-author an um, abstract that was presented to ASCO entitled uh, Effects of Refractory Status to Lenalidomide on Safety and Efficacy of the Combination of Selinexor, Botezomib, and Dexamethasone, XVD, versus the control arm of that phase three for registration study, botezomib and dexamethasone in patients with previously treated multiple myeloma. So you know that study, Boston study, uh, was a phase three randomized control arm, control, control study, open label, that have looked at the new compound, new combination to botezomib and dexamethasone uh, with a new mechanification of a seen inhibitor, selinexor. Very convenient because overall uh, and uh, globally pretty safe once you know how to manage a drug and how to give it to patients. And what you also know for sure and in your practice is that more and more we have the we face the issue, the flip side of the coin of that because we give lenalidomide, Revlimid, much earlier. And I would say much better for the much greater benefit to the patient in first line now for most of our patients. And if not in first line, in second line, probably then for the vast majority of the remaining patients, we have a situation where the patients develop mechanisms of resistance, the tumor cells, the myeloma of the patient develop mechanisms of resistance to lenalidomide very early on in the disease course of the patients. And for a certain number of patients, we've learned that this new situation, early mechanisms of resistance to lenalidomide, could be associated to some mechanisms of, of resistance, possibly a worsening prognosis, possibly a much worse, a much shorter survival. And so, most, if not all, of the studies that you're going to hear about and listen to will, of course, talk about this specific population of lenalidomide refractory patients and, and whether we can improve with all new compounds, all new mechanisms, all new families in myeloma and combinations, whether we can improve that particular population of patients. And we've been in very pleased that Amongst the 402, 402 patients in Boston, 160 had a situation of being refractory to imid, any of them, at the time of entering into the study. And 106, 106 of them were truly refractory to lenalidomide. 53 in the Selinexor, XVD arm, and 53 in the Botezomib dexamethasone arm. So then we have looked at how that does this combination of XVD perform in that particular population uh, to confirm the initial feeling we've had that being refractory to lenalidomide was not uh, could be rescued in a certain extent by the combination of selinexo, botizumib, and dexamethasone. And so we have found that in patients immediate refractory, the median PFS of XVD, the selinexo combination was almost 14 months compared to 8.4 months for the VDR. And that shows that even in immediate refractory, similar results were observed with lenalidomide refractory patients. In that particular population, it seemed that the benefit of Selinexo was seen, obtained, and maintained, which is very reassuring for that combination and prove that combination of a certain degree of really effectiveness in that population. Other endpoints have been studied, time to next treatment, but also overall response rate. And uh, I'm not going to talk too much about time to next treatment. That is very interesting in real life but could be difficult scientifically speaking to analyze. But overall response rate is something very straightforward uh, because 
under the umbrella of an IMWG guideline, very clear, very, very straightforward. And therefore, it was interesting to see that uh, in image refractory patients, we've seen a quite interesting overall response rate of approximately 79% compared to 55.8% for the control arm. And if we look now at len refractory patients, 67.9% for selenexo combination arm compared to 47.2% for the VD arm. Of course, as you can imagine, all these differences were highly statistically significant. And so this speaks to the fact that we can, I think, safely uh, uh, say that, that the combination of selenexo plus bortezomib and dexamethasone was efficacious, active, and safe enough in myeloma in the early relapse, particularly in the population of the patient with LEN refractory, where we have seen other combination potentially much less effective. With this, I'll, I'll thank you very much, and I hope you will have a, an interesting experience with that combination in the next future when approved and reimbursed in your countries. Thank you very much.